Hello everyone, welcome to Ultimate Diecast. My name's Tyrone, and I hope you're having a good day. If you're not, I hope to be able to turn it around for you. With this 1972 Ford F100 and horse trailer. Um, we don't really get these in Australia. Well, in Western Australia anyway. Um, I bought this from here, but it wasn't really... Um, easy to get hold of. I had to drive millions of miles and pay thousands of dollars. $29.95 to be exact. Australian. Um, it's from 2017-2016 copyright and I'd be very interested to find all of these, especially the 1955 Cadillac Fleetwood Series 60 and Shasta Air Flight. Shasta Air Flight um, looks like it's been thrown about in that game you played as a kid. You just screw up all the words you say and um, everyone has to figure out what you're on about. Shasta Air Flight must be a thing. Never heard of it. Includes adjustable trailer jack. One, two. So we'll get to that. Um, Anyone who's ever watched Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection, my first channel, um, will know I don't have an affinity to packaging. Um, so we'll dispense with that quick smart right now. With these, let's have a look. I don't think there's going to be an elegant way to dispatch. So we'll go this way. Um, did him, did him. And I was hoping for a nice clamshell click together thing, but this is not. In true surgical precision style, we'll just hack it to pieces. I remember doing that with um, a Jamboree and Guard from Star Wars. Not a real one, obviously. A figure from the Return of the Jedi set. Um, oh, the jack's still in there at this point. So, yeah, I remember doing that with a um, Return of the Jedi action figure. Oops. Um, I hope there are no horses in there. They won't be feeling good. Um, and uh, almost cutting my finger off. The Jamboree and Guard was okay. But my uh, finger took some time to get over it. Notice how I gently... <laughs> notice, notice how I gently put the um, sticky tape back on the pack it and then threw it over my shoulder, like I just don't care. Hmm. Well, this feels lighter than I expected. Does that really screw? Seems a bit long. Dum, 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 dum. Hmm. Not sure about this. He says just before he breaks it. Yeah, I don't know about that, folks. Hmm. Oh, well, we'll leave it like that for now. But this is a good looking truck. Whoa. This is the kind of truck serious people drove. Serious people from the country that you just didn't mess with. Um, I didn't grow up in this guy's native homeland. I grew up in New Zealand. But there are one or two of these out in the, out in the country, out in the sticks, as we'd call it. And, uh, yeah. The kind of folk you don't mess with. Ooh. Massive slab of a bonnet to open. Don't get your head trapped in there. Blue, blue Ford engine. 
not much going on under there, but at least to get what seems to be the correct blue. Bang. Nice. Can't go past the metal, body metal base feel in those rubber tires. Solid as, bro. Nice. And the wheels go very well with it. The two tone silver detailing. Nice paint job. Needs a dog and a bale of hay. And a case of beer. Crate of bottles. Nice. The um, doors don't open on these. But it doesn't matter. Big old mirrors. The, uh, the mirrors look like a, a big safety bonus. But of course, as soon as you start that big engine up. Um, a vibration goes through the, uh, the mirror and you can't see anything. <laughs> so it was back then, got to toughen up. You don't want to see what's coming up behind you anyway. That's what we've been doing all day, it's probably the cops. It's got a, um, seems to be, seems to be a brake light above that window. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a badge of some sort. Tailgate does not move. But look at the details. Look at the crisp details. That is a spectacular little car. Things were, um, well, they were built better back then, weren't they? I mean, you wouldn't want to be in a car crash in this. Maybe it had seat belts, maybe not. Maybe the um, the lap seat belts, but nothing else. Certainly no headrest. But uh, yeah, fantastic. And let's take a look at this. I suppose if this was all metal, you'd uh, be looking at a much heavier set. He takes all the paint off. Nope, that came off nice and clean. Oh, wow. Oh, that actually looks like a horse float. Hmm, it's got the divider panel so the horses don't move around too much. It doesn't close that way, that closes. No, maybe it does close. Maybe they're close together. Like all those complicated fridges. Oh yeah, there we go. Those tabs just give it a nice true fit. Nice horsey graphic. Little personal access door. And another. Plenty of windows, although they're not really windows. Yeah, a bit plasticky, but those wheels are in keeping with everything. The galvanized tread plate look, at least. It sits nicely. I can back a trailer in real life, but it's a bit skiddy at 164. Keep coming, you'll hear the noise. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I need a fleet of these. This is my first one. Um, for green light anyway. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's quite a nice fit. Hmm. Feels very solid on the ground. Handles well. Probably not, but uh, that's a good looking set. I like, I like a lot. So there you have it. Um, uh, 
soon as I threw it away, I thought, oh, I'll need that. Uh, so that was the 1972 Ford F100 and horse trailer. And I'll be on the lookout for especially the 1955 Cadillac Fleetwood Series 60 and Shasta Air Flight, or Aster Share Flight, if you want to play the game. From 2017 release. Beautiful. Well, I hope you enjoyed this show featuring this fantastic casting and trailer float. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.